All right. So now let's see what if I'm actually I'm gonna do this first. I realize that the nose there should be some kind of separation happening. So I'm gonna go back into the nose area. Formulate some dark values, right? So right. Okay, so now we can actually go in. Or I can actually go in and establish some more of the grays. So for instance, the grays here. Right. Okay. And next, what it is I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get started with creating some of the shapes here. I really want to get it to a point where I can, you know, where I basically covered out everything. And then I, after that, I can actually start playing around with sculpting out the form, like at least outwards. So right now I'm seeing, okay, cool. There's going to be a bit of a dark right there. A bit of a dark right there. And a little bit of a dark right here. And for this, I'm going to save that later. I do want to try to get it to a point where um, I can actually show you guys how we can play and manipulate the background and foreground. So I'm going to try to just cover everything up. How am I doing on time, by the way? It's around 4.15. 4.15. Oh, that's what I thought. OK, perfect. 15 minutes. Sorry. So let's get this down then. All right. So right now, as you can see, I'm pretty much building up most of the base. Getting in some of this area. And uh, right now, I'm actually going to go back in, make a little bit more of the background value. That's going to be important. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So I'm going to actually oop, go in with the background. Have the background slowly start forming. Around the subject. Okay. So specific look I'm actually trying to go for here, where you can feel that the background is kind of creating a bit of a vignette around the subject. And notice I'm actually I've actually been avoiding some of the outer strokes here just because I'm I've been waiting for to tap into a bit of this background here so we can formally play with that in a little bit. Mm. Then, of course, I'm going to go in here. All right. And then, of course, have some of the background right over here. All right, so basically once we are here, now what it is we can actually do is go in and start actually sculpting 
out some of the shapes. So what I have here is I'm gonna actually go fully go in here. And actually before that, before anything, I want to establish what I've been meaning to establish. One lighter value right over here. Okay, and then after that, go in. So I'm going to start tapping into slightly faster speed right here. I'm going to start working from inside out. Okay, adding a little bit of iridium, a little bit of transparent oxide. Keep it stabilized. Okay. Okay, next, what it is I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get started with creating oh, some of the darks right there. And slowly start venturing outwards. Having the stroke finding venture outwards. Okay. All right. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to oh, establish a bit of a dark right here. A little bit of a light right here. A little bit more yellow and a little bit more orange. That in like so. A little bit more red. Okay, get that ear in, fill it with Shirley, of course add a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. Then have it go against the form like so. And this is what I mean by going against and um, along the form. If you do both, that way you can create effects like this, where you can have the actual direction of the fur go into the form. Then you have the best of both worlds. Okay, so same thing here. Go on with a bit of a gray. Bit of a viridian right here. Then you can actually start going in and establishing some outer form. Now, just letting you guys know, to accomplish and achieve this kind of effect, you have to, and I repeat, you have to make sure that you're thinking through each of your brushstroke. Each of your brushstrokes should have some kind of importance behind it. And this is basically what brush economy can give you in terms of effect. Okay. Go in real quick. Establish that really quick. All right, and then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see, oh cool, there's a little bit of a light that's peeking in there. I'm going to get that in. A 
we'll do this, get that in. All right, and then after that, now what we can do is actually go in. some of this background. So I'm going to whip up a little bit more here just for this area. Just enough while still letting it breathe, right? Notice how I didn't cover this entire thing up. Just letting it breathe a little bit. That's all you kind of want to do. Okay. So next what it is you want to do is get a little bit, of, perhaps a little bit of a blue in here. Okay, next I'm just looking at the overall direction. Okay, getting that in. A little bit of a gray right here. Bit of a darker blue. right over here, have that kind of start expanding outwards just a little bit. Okay. And then of course, you can still use the background to help sculpt out some of the form if you need to. So I'm just letting it using it to kind of sculpt things out a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna go back in. Start establishing oh. this. I think it's 4:22 right now, so we have eight minutes. So let's see what we can do in eight minutes. Well, hopefully you guys can see. This is the reason why I spent so long at the beginning just establishing and creating these checkpoints, so that later on, if I did want to speed up, I have all these checkpoints to help me. Put mm. this in there. All right. A little bit of a slightly darker value you have. Just squeeze some of that in as well. All right. Next, I'm going to tap into a bit of that lighter orange value. It's all the way here. It's a little too orange, so let's calm that down a little bit. Yeah, that's there. Add in like so. It's the one stroke that's right here, so I'm going to establish that, and that's going to help me kind of close out this space. And that's what we're going to start aiming to do. Let's slowly just start closing things out. And then, of course, I'm going to tackle this area real quick. Get a little bit of a darker warm. Have that go in between this form. A little bit in between this form as well. 
Okay. And then, of course, going in. And just adjusting. But like I said, you can always constantly adjust everything that you're doing. Nothing will ever stay permanent unless you let it stay permanent. So just keep, keep that in mind. So when you get to this stage, it's really all just about readjusting everything. So now as you can see, I'm just going here and I'm able to kind of start readjusting some of the drawing. Let's see. All right, uh, any questions so far on what I'm doing? Or does all make sense, hopefully? Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, there's three more minutes left. Three more minutes? Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Okay, so let me just close off some of this area. Uh, and you're in. Everything makes sense? You feel like you're good to go when you tried this yourself? Yeah, it makes sense. Um, one question would be the background. I think background is always pretty hard for me. Like, mm -hmm. I, I tend to like feel like, oh, if I have a background, it has to be like solid background. But then mm -hmm. I see you have a lot of breathing room, right? So it's just, it's not like the whole thing is... Yeah. Like blue. Yeah. Uh, somehow, somehow it's been always been very difficult. Like sometimes at the background, it makes the painting looks really bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like it's like all like I close everything and it's like perfect mm -hmm. edge and and it just look very just unnatural, right? And you want to um, ask yourself, why are you closing everything? Why can't you? Keep I, I just feel like I have. I feel like oh it's background and it has to be somehow new contiguous or something. So here's the thing: you shouldn't think of it as background because when you think of it as background, you think of it as something lesser or you think of it as something that's supposed to be flat. You know what I mean? For me, mm -hmm. this I'm treating this the same as I'm treating this. There's no different. It's all just elements of shapes. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think it's a uh. It's not really a painting issue, it's a mindset issue that you want to overcome, right? Because if you constantly are just thinking of it as a thing, then of course you're going to like, it's going to constantly be like that, right? But mm -hmm. it's the moment you start thinking, like, think about it differently, like changing your mindset up. Instead of looking at it as a background, think of it as an extension of the subject, right? You're not going to make mm -hmm. the, the extension of the subject flat, right? Just yeah. like nothing here is flat. Right, I'm not making anything flat here. Does that kind of make sense? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think for that, that's more about just a, a mindset in a way, right? So don't think about background and foreground, background and subject as two different things. Think of them as one and the same. That's what I usually do. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah, that way you can play because like you do have to play with them together. You have to like you know constantly go back and forth. Right? That, that's yeah. how you can play with them. So ask yourself, instead of like covering everything in the background because you're like, oh, that's the background, think about, okay, how can I, this is a puzzle piece. Like, you know, like how can I play with this puzzle piece with the other puzzle pieces here? Mm -hmm. How can I make it easier for myself to play with it, you know? Yeah. yeah. I recommend looking at some of Joseph Todarovich's paintings. Um, I really like the way he handles his backgrounds. Yeah, T O D O R O V I T C H Todorovich. Yeah, because um, I was actually looking at a lot of his backgrounds when I started painting, and I really T O D O R what? Todorovich. So it's T O D O R O V I T C H. V I T C. Yeah. H. Okay. You got it. Arovich. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at some of his portrait sketches his sketches and his demonstrations. You could type in demonstrations or sketches, you know. Um, I see. You'll see what I mean. Do you see it? Like if you Google it right now, you'll be able to see it. Yeah. But yeah, he's someone that I rec highly recommend checking out. Um, anyways, yeah. In fact, actually, uh, I don't know if you remember my student, Xiaozi, um, but she 
he actually just got into the school where he teaches at, so she actually might be able to study with him. <laughs> Anyways, Whew. okay, so I think um, it's pretty much it. I think by this time, it's just about kind of going in and kind of reestablishing and sculpting, but hopefully you kind of get the idea. Okay. All right. Uh, any last questions? No? No. No? Okay. I'm going to put one last stroke here, and then we can just call it. We'll put one stroke right here just to kind of help calm that area down. All right. And we can just call it then.